So today is day five of week two. It is the last day of week two. So I get the next two days off, which is blessed. I know I said yesterday I was protecting my hip. That was a responsible decision. That is something that I do on a regular basis. So I don't want you guys to worry about like, oh my God. Roman's hip is in danger, what are we gonna do? This is a completely regular, regular thing. I'm always monitoring my body, I'm always feeling something, and it's just this constant process of monitoring it and just dealing with it, if that makes sense. My body type doesn't really help. Being like six foot one doesn't help. The taller you are, the more injury prone you are, and I'm whipping these legs everywhere, left and right, so. That definitely is gonna tug on joints a little more. I'm also a little hypermobile and just not a good combination of things. So yesterday my hip was feeling a bit sore. I'm not gonna do quad cells. Anyway, so I was taking care of that and my hip feels much better this morning. However, the rest of my body is definitely way more sore. And I can't even explain to you why. I don't know what I did yesterday that was so different from the other week, but I think it's everything as a whole is just adding up. And now I'm like really, really sore. Like we'll see, but. I got two sessions today, maybe I'll take the first one easier and then maybe try to rev up for the second one, but yeah, all right. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's thunder and it's sunny outside. That's super cool. I love it. So I was reviewing my jump serves yesterday and it looks terrible. Keep that work going. Maybe we'll get something better today, but the form just looks terrible. So I just checked and it turns out I'm supposed to be throwing the ball with the same hand that I like hit it with. So I've been doing this wrong the whole time. I've been throwing with my left hand, hitting with my right. But it looks like I gotta throw with my right and hit with my right. Is that right? So it turns out the right hand thing does make it easier, but my timing of the jump to the hit, really, really bad, from what I can tell. So again. Probably still look ridiculous, the form is not there, but and the aim's definitely not there either. But my goal right now is just to get hitting the ball, sort of like just taking the jump, you know, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. seem to like bend their legs back when they fly through. I think the reason is they use their abs to sort of get that last two, three percent of force out. That's from what I understand, so that they can bend back and then... Am I overanalyzing this? Probably. Today we have another guest skater because everyone's trying to skate with the YouTube sensation. Caitlin! So this is day five of week two coming back for Caitlin. This is... Day two in new skates. And new skates, new blades. Epic. If you guys are noticing the headband, it's uh, so that the hair doesn't go in my eyes. Definitely helps when I'm lacking product. Gets it out of my eyes. Because my hair is not quite long enough to tie it up. So we'll see. We'll see how long it gets. But this is my short-term solution at the moment. My body feels way better after warming up. Doing those jump serves, man, it unlocks everything. Highly recommend. Do those jump serves. It'll get you places. Okay, so the triple style is feeling really, really good today. Body's actually feeling surprisingly good. Sometimes, you know, you just like work it through and you just sort of like move your body, it almost breaks through and you're like, okay already. So instead of being super stiff and weird, it's like really, really, really loose and nice. So I think today we'll do south. I think today's the day. I said I feel really, really good, but I almost feel the fatigue about to creep in. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do quad sound before I even try to go axel today because of that reason alone. So I'm not feeling 100% fresh, so we gotta pace it differently. And the thing is, with falls like that, 
It hurts the ego more than it hurts my body. So I'm a little bit downed. <laughs> but we're still gonna... Caitlin's trying to take me out here. So we're still gonna try this sow. Get revved up. Let's do it. The first try, I don't know. Based on my past experience, I always thought the first try was gonna be like superb. So I'm not expecting much for this first try right now. We'll see what happens. Alright, so that was try number one. It was actually way better than what I thought. So try number two, this is it. This is it. Three times the charm. Let me show you what just happened. I don't know if you could see what I just showed you, but basically I traced completely on the edge. You can see where it divides and meets in one. I traced the takeoff. It's hard to take off when you trace it. It's like, it's a rut. When you hit a rut, that's it, it's over. So, okay, this is it, this is it. If I could almost do this with a winter coat, I should be able to do this right now. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but like, I need to do this. Almost there, not quite, we're almost there. Do a few more triples and then rip out another quad. Okay, I'm doing one last attempt. I'm getting a little pooped. I just gotta like generate all the focus that I can right now to just snap into one. I'm tired. Let's go. That's pretty good. <laughs> After like almost three months. Okay. You think you're alright? You think I'm fine? I, I, yeah, I think you're good. Okay. Well, everyone's saying I'm pretty good, but. Anyway, that was pretty good quad sal for three months. That's the end of this session. I'm gonna do Axel's next session. I'm glad I did this now because now I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling I'm not as fresh. So it's a good thing I got that under my belt. And then next session we'll do some Axel's. Axel's like, I know everyone thinks that quad sal is my favorite, but it's still harder to do than triple axel, I'm sorry, but facts, bro. Like, it's still harder. Triple axel, I can sort of pull off even when it's slow or a little bit off. This, like, I need pretty good technique behind it. I feel I'm not jumping as high as I used to. That's gonna be something that has to come back within the next one or two weeks. But it, it will come back. It will, at some point. We've got 22 minutes, 23 minutes left for week two. I did all my triples. I'm feeling really good, but my body's starting to uh, show its effects of the week worth of training. So this triple axle is going to be clutch. Maybe we'll do like one or two or uh, we'll see. But if the first one's going to be like a bomber, and by bomber I mean like, like a really good one, then I'm going to leave it alone. But if not, then we'll try two. All right, let's go triple axle. Okay, so that's it. That is the end of week two. Kind of proud of myself. That was a pretty good week. Progressions were really, really good. I'm um, really happy that I could get that quad sow in. We were sort of seeing, I wasn't sure if I'd actually get it in this week, but it's kind of cool that I did. Now the next two days I have off so I can relax because I'm really, really tired, kind of sore. That's all good. The axles have gotten way better today compared to the previous days. That one axle, not the third one, the second one, like that was money. Like that had actual monetary value. The first few that I did in the first few days, like they're fine. Like they're sort of executed, but they weren't like my axles. That was like my axle. Money. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. If you really loved it, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on um, probably week three. Maybe I'll fit in some other couple of videos in there. We'll see. I'll catch you guys in the next video.